The 13 on your side weather deck is sponsored by Montel Construction, your home team. Meteorologist Michael Barron's outside on the weather deck tonight. Still grabbing that umbrella out there. It's still coming down, Michael. Yeah, still rain out here, Elena, and that's going to be the case not just for the next couple of hours, but most of tonight as showers spread across the region. Expect to need the rain gear for all of your Friday evening plans. But the good news is heading out tomorrow, the rain should start to push out of the region. What won't change, though, are the temperatures. Our warming pattern continues through the weekend and all the way through the Christmas holiday. We made it up to 42 today, 40 six in Muskegon 43 Holland should only be 34 this time of the year. That temperature a bullseye with our forecast told you 42 hit 42 current streak at two days in a row. Of course, we hope to add to that as we head toward tomorrow. Speaking of tomorrow, temperatures continue upward. That's why 13 weather ball is lit up in red with warmer temperatures ahead and that weather ball blinking bright with the rain in sight. The 13 weather ball is sponsored by LaFontaine Lincoln Grand Rapids. And those temperatures out there really still about the high for today. 42 in Grand Rapids with rain, 43 Muskegon, 41 Holland. The rain showers again, not really going to move temperatures much tonight. In fact, the next several hours we stay in the 40s. We're only going to dip to about 39 overnight. Rain will come to an end by about sunrise Saturday. And then we're looking at a cloudy day as temperatures push into the mid and upper 40s across the region. We're going to call that low tonight again down to 39. Saturday will warm up to about 46. We'll stay mild through the weekend and into Sunday with a few AM showers that may drop some sprinkles across the region, but don't expect much from that. Temperatures will be in the 50s by the back half of the weekend. We're looking at rain again pushing across the region this evening. Still pretty dry up toward US 10, but most of us across parts of West Michigan seeing the rain as far inland now is just beyond US 131. Plenty of rain across parts of Kalamazoo, Van Buren, Allegan County, even up into Barry and Calhoun now starting to see a little bit of that rainfall. We'll go up to the north a little bit here. Kent County, most of us seeing rain. If you're off to the east side of the county, eh, not quite yet. Greenville still dry. I mean, you're still dry. We're looking at rain across portions of Ottawa County, and it's going to start to pick up to you guys in the north here as well in the next uh, hour or two. Pretty much all of West Michigan expecting to see rain by about 8 o'clock tonight. That rain pushing in from the southwest. Lots of moisture with this system, and it's going to bring showers through again the next 12 hours here or so. Rain continues to spread as we head toward 9 o'clock tonight. Basically, everybody's seeing rainfall by this point. We continue with the showers into the early a.m. of Saturday. Most of us start to dry out by 3, 4 o'clock. The eastern counties will dry out by sunrise, and then we're on to just a cloudy day out there for tomorrow. The cloud cover continues all day Saturday and into Saturday night with a few stray sprinkles by early Sunday morning. The next bigger chance for rain, though, that comes as we head toward Toward Christmas Day. We start the morning off nice and quiet, but the afternoon brings showers in across the region with rain continuing throughout the day on Monday. And of course, if you're wondering about white Christmas, well, we crunched the numbers here for you. Nah, nope. Pink, no. Extreme, no. Still, no. No, not happening. So don't expect it. Don't expect any snow. 13 on your side, 10 day forecast. <laughs> We are looking at temperatures that go from 46 tomorrow to 52 Sunday and 56 on Monday. It's going to be a top 10 warmest Christmas ever in Grand Rapids this year. The rain chances continue into Tuesday, but temperatures start to go down. We'll be closer to normal by the end of the week, possibly with a little bit of snowfall Thursday and Friday. Heading into New Year's weekend, though, snow chances kind of taper off. Temperatures stay close to average, but the odds of any kind of meaningful snowfall are accumulating snowfall between now in the start of 2024, not looking very good. All right, thank you, Michael. During the